Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to stay rooted in God in a troubled world, in a broken world, a fallen world, whatever you want to call it. So I have a couple verses I'm going to read and then I'm just going to talk about them and stuff. And so, let's go. The first verse that I am going to read is John 16:33. I'm sure you all have probably heard it before. It's a pretty popular one, but it says, I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. What I think is so beautiful just about Jesus' heart for us is that he wants us to have peace. He's saying, I've said all these things to you so you can have my peace. Like, this is the peace that I offer. I want you to take it and I want you to have peace because you will have trouble in this world, but I overcome it. So, like, I'm granting you this peace and I want you to take part in it. And I believe that's why he says, I've spoken these things to you. And I don't believe it's just the things that he's just said to his people, but I believe, like, that's why he gives us the entire Bible so that we can have access to the peace that he offers. So the gist of this verse is saying that no matter what happens in the world, like in the Bible it says, even though the mountains may crumble into the heart of the sea, we will not be shaken. No matter what happens in the world, we can have peace. It is possible to have peace because we know that Jesus has completely overcome the world. And I don't think Jesus would tell us, do not let your hearts be troubled or don't be afraid if it wasn't possible because it is possible to make the choice to trust God and not be afraid. Sometimes it seems really hard or like it is impossible but also like the Bible says that everything is possible with God and if he commands us to not be afraid then we know that it is possible. Also Jesus is our helper and he is not just gonna leave us to just be like left to the world and destroyed by the world. He is our helper and he will bring peace to what we're dealing with or our circumstances or anything we're dealing with mentally or spiritually. He will bring peace to it because he is our helper. He will answer our prayers. We just have to ask him for help and sometimes it may take a long time but one thing I've learned in prayers being answered is that faith is so so important. God is so moved by faith and sometimes maybe you have faith really strongly for a certain prayer and it still didn't come true and I've definitely been there before and it's so hard because you're like oh I have such strong faith I just know that God is going to answer this prayer and a lot of times it does actually get answered um, and God does answer that prayer and that faith is so honored but I believe that our faith is still honored even if that prayer doesn't get answered. I did um, a Bible study one time on faith and they were talking about how I'd rather err on the side of faith than on unbelief so I'd rather have like too much faith in my prayer not get answered than have no faith and that's why my prayer didn't get answered. So I didn't really clarify very well by what too much faith like by what I was meaning by that um, but what I'm saying is um, I would rather have so much faith that people may even think you're crazy you just have so much belief and so much faith that it even seems unusual then just completely doubt God so much like I would rather have way more faith than normal than a lot less faith than most people and so I'm just saying that faith is so so important if you want prayer to be answered because God truly sees your faith and he is so moved by it and also one thing to remember when dealing with fear or something is that God doesn't just send us out into the world or um, into scary situations or hard situations on our own. He doesn't just send us out into the playing field all by ourselves to be helpless, but he goes with us and he fights with us and he fights for us. And the next verse I'm going to read is Romans 12, 2. It says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. By testing, you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. So we're not meant to look like the world. We're supposed to let God transform us, transform our hearts and transform our minds, just like the verse says. Let God transform your mind and transform your hearts. And everyone around you and everyone in the world may be feeling really anxious and really fearful about things that are going on, but you don't have to. Just because people around you are doing it and you think it's just the way to be, that's not what God is saying. He's saying to let him tell you what is right and to believe what is right. And we don't have to look like the world. We can spend time with God and we can 
know his heart and we can ask him what he wants to do in us and what he wants us to believe. And a way that we can renew our minds is to believe that Jesus is our peace and that he has overcome the world. The last verse I'm going to read is Philippians 3.20 which says, But our citizenship is in heaven and from it we await a savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. So we are citizens of heaven which means heaven is our home. This world is not our home. This is our temporary home. Which means we need to focus on the joy of that and the joy of what's coming and we need to focus on building the kingdom of heaven here because that is the only thing that will last. The things of this world will not last. But if we focus on building the kingdom of heaven and bringing God's love and showing people God's love then we will have such a great reward. So whenever you're feeling fearful we just have to remember to like set our mind on things above and to focus on building God's kingdom and that doesn't always have to look like like helping homeless people or doing all these like going on mission trips and things like that it can look just as simple as like loving people or just choosing to be at peace and choosing to trust God instead of worrying and like freaking out about all these things it can be like small personal decisions too I think that is all that I have for today but I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one bye Hello.